please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. At the 13th edition of Indian India Business Leader Awards, a generous round of applause, please. Thank you very much. So the first award is for the most promising company of the year. And let's take a look at all the nominees. In the category, most promising company of the year, the nominees are Page Industries, Symphony, RBL Bank, IIFL Holdings, AU Small Financial Bank. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner is... The fastest growing private bank in India, recognized as the global growth company, has multiplied its balance sheet by 25 times. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the most promising company of the year to RBL Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our winner. To receive the award, we have Vishwavi Rahuja, the CEO of RBL Bank, right here with us. Under his leadership, RBL Bank's market cap has grown to 20,000 crore rupees and he has managed to scale up profits run from 90 to 400 crores just in the last five years. That's a four-time jump. Mr. Rahuja, please. Mr. Ahuja, congratulations, sir. We would like you to say a few words because, you know, the kind of growth that your bank has seen from a, a really small regional bank in 2010, it's now, profits have gone up, what, four or five times in the last five years. What's the secret sauce? Yeah, I mean, so i will say that this bank is actually 75 years old, but we say we are seven years young <laughs> in our current avatar when the transformation journey started. In these seven years, we've actually grown 30 times and profits have grown more than 50 times. Oh, wow. So, well, that's the, the financial side of it. But I think what I want to say is that first of all, I mean, it's the coming together of a stellar management team, you know, which actually said that we will put together a best-in-class banking institution, deliver best-in-class banking services, but grounded on the principles of strong governance, the best professional standards, and a very ethical value system. Mm -hmm. And I say that deliberately at, in, during times like these, yes. that you know, this was something that we actually pledged to each other, that we will achieve financial success but not compromise on some of these values. And that is something that we wanted to prove. While we've built a fairly decent, I would say mainstream bank, which is growing well, and uh, I think what is more gratifying is that we have put a lot of focus on you know, delivering services to the, to the masses. We are one of the leading banks in the area of financial inclusion. And that is more gratifying that we can impact lives, create thousands and thousands of jobs, and, you know, also achieve financial success. So that's the whole story. Well, your emphasis on strong governance is well noted, sir, and thank you very much. Enjoy the evening. Congratulations once again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Our next category is the disruptors. These mavericks have exemplified innovation at its finest to rewrite the rules in their domain and emerge as leading players. The nominees in this category are? In the category, the disruptors, the nominees are Narayana Hridayalaya, Hector Beverages, Big Basket, Mankind Pharma, Geo. All right, so let's uh, see who the winner is. Making digital services a basic necessity, this company is geared to meet more than 60% of India's forecasted data demand by 2020-2021. Aiming to achieve more than 50% of overall market share, they are truly the game changers. 
CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Disruptors Award to Geo. And to receive that award, please welcome on stage the Managing Director of Geo, Matthew Oman. Matthew, wherever you are, if you could please have you on stage. Ladies and gentlemen. Matthew, we can't let you go without saying a few words. You know, in the last one year, because of the way in which you've shaken up the telecom industry, many of us have seen our telephone bills come down significantly. Do we see the trend continuing in the year 2018? You know, first of all, it's our pleasure to be here and on behalf of Mukesh, Reliance and the team, and what we have been able to achieve for India as a whole. Thank you very much for the eminent jury, ma'ams. And we believe India is still deprived. And to be very frank, when I look at all the financial stalwarts here, here is one group that has actually leveraged the digital uh, ecosystem to the maximum. I would say today we have a financial ecosystem that is second to none, leveraged by Aadhaar and the launch of GST and UPI, but we, our opportunity across healthcare, education, agriculture is definitely the next big milestone for each of us. We are still deprived as a nation from a fixed mobile standpoint because there is only 18 million connected homes in India. How would we like to see at least 200 million out of that 250 million connected homes? And believe us, we would love to do that and we want to do that. And I also heard from the finance ministry today that the data for the financial payments is going to be residing in India. The data for Google, Facebook, Alibaba of India doesn't have to be outside of India. I think the innovation and disruption can happen in India. And when I see Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, he's been the initiator of our telecom journey and thank you, sir. It's our privilege to have you here. And thank you, everyone, for recognizing us. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you. Thank you, you so, so much. very much. So our next award is, in the, is an offspring of the previous category that the jury decided to recognize. This one is the Emerging Disruptor of the Year. The winner of this award has recently entered the business domain, but has stood out for its daredevil spirits. Let's have a look at the Emerging Disruptor of the Year. After launching their first paper-packaged homegrown drink in 2011, the company pulled in more than 300 crores of funding. And today has a wide variety of 15 flavors of paper-packaged traditional drinks. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Emerging Disruptor of the Year Award to Hector Beverages. Needs no introduction, right? Please welcome Neeraj Kakkar, the co-founder and CEO of Hector Beverages, to come up and receive the award. Congratulations, Neeraj. Um, everyone here, I'm sure, is a fan of your products. Everyone drinks Paperboard. But you know, in today's day and age, where everything's going vegan, sugar-free, etc., are you planning to launch new products completely sugar-free? Yeah, actually, uh, actually we are, and a uh, lot of work. So Ms. Piramal is here, and like, uh, so she called me two years back. It's an interesting story to tell. Like, she called me two years back, and she told me that you come and you make buttermilk. Diabetic is a big thing, and then we should use karela and other stuff around it. And uh, so, uh, Ms. Piramal, and uh, and then we have been working since then uh, for lot. So it takes us two and a half, three years. So we are working with jamun, karela, we are extremely like very clear that we have to solve this problem, this sugar problem which India has. And we will make some very, very delicious things. It will be launched. My R&D head is here and like we will be launching it in the next couple of months, I think. Okay, so now we know what Mr. and Mrs. Piramal drink, right? They uh, all have paper boat and soon uh, to drink sugar-free ones. Congratulations once again. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Adia and Mr. Garg for doing the honors at 
request you now to please take your seats. Could we now please have uh, Ms. Aruna Sundararajan, the Telecom Secretary, and to join her, could we please have Mr. Kumara Mangalam Birla, the Chairman of the Aditya Birla Group, to give away the next set of awards. If you could have both of you on stage, please. Thank you. is one of the most exciting categories of the evening, the Young Turks Startup of the Year. With unbridled passion in their hearts and a steely resolve to chart new waters in their quest for success, these startups are lighting up the entrepreneurial landscape with their meteoric rise. The nominees in this category are... In the category, Young Turks Startup of the Year, the nominees are Bira 91, Razor Pay, Capital Float, Black Buck, Agrostar, Nikki I. And the winner is... 10% reduction in transportation cost, 30% time saved of logistics management, 95% improvement in the availability of trucks, a company that connected the truckers and shippers seamlessly. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Young Turks Startup of the Year Award to Black Buck. So there you have it, Black Buck. Could we please have Rajesh Abaji, the co-founder and CEO of Black Buck, to please join us on stage and receive the award. Rajesh, you know, on this evening, I don't want to be a killjoy, but I have to ask you this question because Black Buck is the name of your company. <laughs> and Black Buck is in, the, is in the news for all the wrong reasons. In the last 24 hours, have you even thought of a possible name change, perhaps? <laughs> um, no, actually, I think I've got a series of pings on WhatsApp saying uh, you guys are trending on news. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, uh, there's, there's no correlation. There's no relationship between Black Buck and the current figure in news. Uh, uh, really uh, a humbling experience for us in this industry. Uh, everything is broken. Uh, every basic thing which we experience in consumer technology industry is not there in the freight industry. Uh, we today move about half a percentage of India's freight, and uh, we do another half a percentage of India's freight services. So that's totaling about 1% of this industry. And uh, we're just still very early, and as the name suggests, a startup. We started three years back. Uh, uh, thanks a ton uh, for this award. I think uh, we're we just receiving this award on behalf of 1,000 black buckers. And uh, I think uh, we're a bunch of uh, passionate uh, people for this industry. This industry needs a huge amount of muscle to be put in uh, to make changes. And uh, thanks a ton. Yeah. Congratulations. So from Young Turk Startup of the Year, we now move to the Young Turk of the Year. Let's take a look at all the nominees. In the category Young Turk of the Year, the nominees are Freshworks, Inmobi, Baytm, Zomato. And no prizes for guessing this one. The winner is... Incepted in 2008 as a restaurant search website, this company has today expanded to 24 countries, covering 1.4 million restaurants to become the world's largest restaurant search platform, attracting over 12 crore visitors a month. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Young Turk of the Year Award to Zomato. Zomato, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Akshant Goyal, the head corporate development and investor relations at Zomato to join us and receive the award. Zomato, by the way, has just put behind it one of the best years in its business. It closed FY18 with a growth of a whopping 43% in revenues and now has literally struck gold with its highly popular Zomato Gold program. So congratulations. already the largest uh, 
a restaurant, uh, you know, platform in the world. What's the next goal? Uh, I think still a long way to go. <laughs> you, you mentioned on the screen we're in 23 countries now, and uh, we think uh, food is something which, uh, which is the biggest use case uh, for any, uh, as, as far as any e-commerce uh, uh, use case is concerned. So we, we want to be the only food app people should need in any country in the world. So that's the ambition, and hopefully uh, in a few years down the line, we will be there. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Well, congrats once again. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Birla, for doing the honors. We'll request you. Ma'am, we'll request you to just hold on for a little while longer. Thanks very much, Mr. Birla. Please enjoy the evening. Could we now please invite Ms. Arundhati Bhattacharya, the former chairman of SBI, to join Ms. Sundara Rajan to give away the next set of awards. Ma'am, if you could please have you on stage. Continuing with the awards, our next category is Brand of the Year. Now, the competition, I tell you, was extremely tough in this category as each nominee was equally deserving of the honor. So let's have a look at the nominations. In the category Brand of the Year, the nominees are Motilal Oswal, Vix, Asian Pains, Imami. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is... The idea revolved around the fact that if you focus on only one thing over a period of time, you can certainly master it. Think equity, think Motilal Oswal. A brand campaign that focused only on equity, which resonated with affluent investors and generated over 3 million views on YouTube. CNBC TV 18, India Business Leader Awards proudly presents Brand of the Year Award 2. Motilal Oswal. Motilal Oswal, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Ram Agarwal, the managing director and co-founder of Motilal Oswal, to receive the award. Ram needs no introduction and inspiration to all investors. In his own words, he has grown his wealth from zero to thousand crore rupees using two tools: passion and research. Congratulations. Uh, you know, we all know that Warren Buffett is your role model, but I want to ask you, what is the one learning that you've got from him that you've imbibed in your life? The biggest learning. Biggest learning is that there are two rules of making money in the stock market. Rule number one, never lose money. And rule number two, don't forget rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, congratulations, Ramde, once again. So now we all know how to make money in this market, right? <laughs> yes. Food for thought. All right, we also have a special commendation by the jury in Brand of the Year category. So let's take a look. The unique story of a mother's caressing touch and loving care for her child. A simple message based on family care. A brand promise that emotionally connected with millions across the country, attracting 9.5 million views on YouTube, 2.3 million views and 29,000 shares on Facebook. CNBC TV 18, India Business Leader Awards proudly presents Brand of the Year Special Commendation to VIX. Well, this brand needs no introduction, right? Please put your hands together for VIX and please welcome on stage Ms. Maitri Jagannathan, the marketing head for India, Middle East and Africa, for VIX to receive the award. thrilled and happy to be receiving this recognition on this scale and on behalf of Wix and Procter & Gamble, huge thanks to CNBC. Uh, Wix has been in the country for over 90 years and has been taking care of Indian families, cold and coughs, and I'm sure a lot of you over here as well. And um, this is a great opportunity with these campaigns. We have taken the equity to a very different level and we've been able to connect to our consumers in a very emotional and convincing manner. 
We really hope that we'll continue to do the same for future and be a great inspiration for the marketing world. Thank you so much. Congratulations yeah. once again. Thank you, Ms. Bhattacharya, for uh, staying with us. Ms. Sundarajan, please, if you can just stay back for a tad bit. May I now invite on stage the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas and Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Dharmendra Pradhan, to give away the next set of awards. Please put your hands together for him. Okay, the next category celebrates outstanding contribution to Brand India. Now, this select group has helped India shine on the world map with their exploits. So let's take a look at who the winners are. Celebrated as the world's best, this Indian team entered the record books by winning the World Cup for the second time. Back-to-back -back winners of the T20 World Cup. They have played eight series in just 50 months. The unsung champions of blind cricket. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Outstanding Contribution to Brand India Award to the India Blind Cricket Team. Well, they really deserve a loud round of applause. And to receive that award, could we please have Mr. Mahantesh, the President of the Cricket Association for the Blind in India and World Blind Cricket, to join us along with John David, the head coach, and the team's star players. Deepak Malik and Rambir Singh. Round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. Many, many congratulations. The response you're getting. This is the response you're getting, a standing ovation. So many, many congr congratulations to all of you. You won the World Cup beating Pakistan by two wickets. And thereby, you created a missile. It was a very proud moment for all of us. So please say a few words for us. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank CNBC, uh, TV18, for uh, celebrating us for this Brand India Award. And uh, really, it's a proud moment, and beating Pakistan is always, I think everybody like always to beat Pakistan. And also, in all the finals, we beat <laughs> Pakistan. So that's a uh, good thing for us. And also, I request Mr. Mantesh to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, let me first thank CNBC 18 for recognizing our boys' contribution. Uh, it's not been easy for us taking blind cricket to this level, Samarthanam, a parent organization. Uh, I'm so very honored, Aruna Madam, 10 years ago had visited Samarthanam, Samarthanam uh, conglomerate organization, which is uh, Bangalore-based, working in 10 states. Our vision is to touch 100,000 lives by 2020. Cricket for the Blind is one initiative because we are a cricket-crazy nation, and blind people are no exception. We are equally cricket maniacs, and CNBC group have stood very strong with us, promoted our cricket, and uh, our boys really made us proud. So we have big plans, big dreams amidst this August Guardian uh, audience and Honorable Minister, sir. If you all can help us, we can continue to win and bring World Cups after World Cups to our country. And our boys will oh, make absolutely. Big Pakistan and every other country. I once again thank uh, CNBC for recognizing our contribution. May I uh, pray almighty to shower all his blessings to CNBC 18 and continue to spread the message of success. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Keep dreaming and keep making us proud. Many, many congratulations, congratulations once again. Congratulations once thank again. Ms. Sundara Rajan, thank you for joining us on stage. And I would like to now invite Shobhana Kamineni, the Vice Chairman of Apollo Hospitals and President CII, to join us on stage, please. Thank you, Ms. Sundara Rajan. Thank you.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming to one of the most glittering category of the evening, the Entertainment Leader of the Year. The winner this year is the Heartthrob, or Lutera of a Million Hearts, personifying Baji Rao and Khilji with a performance par excellence, young, dynamic, and ever so witty, while intense and memorable on screen. I'm sure you've guessed who we're talking about. Let's take a look. The Heartthrob of Millions, the recipient of almost all the best debut awards in 2010, and one of the highest paid actors today, with 13 hit movies and more in the making, he is truly a born entertainer. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Entertainment Leader of the Year Award to Ranveer Singh. <laughs>